All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you update any Nintendo Switch emulator for Windows PC to the latest firmware of 21.0.0. Now, the emulators included are going to be Yuzu, Sumi, Ryu Jinx or Ryu Bing, uh, Citron, uh, Suyu, Eden, and Sudachi. I'm going to be leaving you all links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the very first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. I'm going to be providing one link, which is going to be for the latest firmware of 21.0.0. Now you're going to need to obtain the prod keys for the matching firmware of 21.0.0. So you need to obtain these on your own. Now these switch emulators have basically the same UI. So to update them is going to be exactly the same way. Uh, so for today's example, I'm going to be using the latest version of the Citron emulator, 0.10.0. So for the first link, it's going to be for the latest firmware download. So just scroll down the page until you find the asset section. You need to download the firmware 21.0.0 zip file. Now this is going to be a zip folder. So you need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now I have all the folders on my desktop, which include the emulator, the latest firmware, the matching prod keys, and the games folder. So to load up the emulator, you just double click on the folder. You're going to run the exe file. So this is going to be your emulator. The first thing you need to do is to add your game directory. So you're going to double click on the plus button. You're going to find your games folder, you're going to select it, and then your games are going to populate. Uh, next thing we need to do is to install the prod keys. So go up to tools, install the encryption keys. You're going to find your folder. You're going to select the prod keys folder. You're going to select it. There you go. The encryption keys were successfully installed. Next thing we need to do is install the latest firmware. So go back up to tools, um, down to install firmware. Now you can in install it from a zip folder or a folder. I'm just going to select the folder. You're going to find the latest firmware folder. Select the folder. This shouldn't take too long. Just give it a second or two. So there you go, the latest firmware has been installed. As you can see in the right corner, we are on 21.0.0. Uh, next thing we need to do, if you want to install updates or DLCs, you're going to go up to File, Install Files to NAND. You're going to find your folders, and then select them and open them. Uh, next, we are going to go to the Emulation section. You're going to go down to Configure. Uh, so under General, everything is set up. Under UI, uh, you can change the theme. I have mine set to Dark. Scroll down the page. You can change the uh, game icon size and stuff like that. Under System, you can change the language, the region, and the time zone. Uh, make sure the memory layout is 4 gigabytes of RAM. CPU, make sure it's auto. Graphics, the API, it's Vulkan. Device, this is going to be your graphics card. Keep scrolling down on the page. Uh, full screen mode, I have it exclusive full screen. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Resolution, I have mine set to 720p by 1080p. Uh, you guys can go all the way up to 7x. Um, it is recommended to stay at this resolution. Windows Adapting Filter by Linear. Um, everything else should be set up. Advanced Graphics. Accuracy Level. Make sure it's on high. Uh, everything else you can leave as is. Audio. Everything is set up. Input. Now this is going to be your controller. Now I am using a Xbox One controller so it should be set up already. 
If you're using a different controller, uh, you're going to need to map it out. So you're going to select the Pro Controller. And then under Input Device, this is going to be your controller. So select Xbox One. So your buttons should be already mapped out. Uh, make sure that you save the profile. And then Apply and then go to OK. Um, hotkeys, uh, you don't really need to change anything. Um, if you want to play in full screen mode, you got to hit the F11 button on your keyboard. Um, everything else should be set up. Now make sure you go to Apply and then go to OK. Now you're going to right click on the game. You're going to go down to Properties. So this is going to show you the game icon, the name of the game, the version of the game, title ID, the format the game's in, the size, file name, etc. Um, updates and DLCs are going to appear in the add-on section. So you can uh, uncheck the box or check it if you want to use them. Now go to OK. Now we're ready to run a game. So to run a game, you just double click on the game and your game should load. And there you go. So that is how you update any Nintendo Switch emulator to the latest firmware of 21.0.0. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you need in the pin comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.